the size uh, will give you three minutes and uh, please make it uh, pertinent to this particular selection process. Justice Paraguay, State Science of Veterans of Politics. I came here yesterday. I was I wanted to break it up into two different days, but I was a little late. Could I get six minutes? No, no, just three. I'm going to speed it up then. Good afternoon. My name is Steve Sands, the President of Veterans of Politics International. It has always been an honor to speak before this body. We hold our jurors to the highest standards. With that said, we are in support of Clark County District Court Judge Alicia Kadish. We have supported her from when she was when she first ran for public office. We continue to support her when she was nominated to the federal bench by the President of the United States. And in our opinion, she was used, she was used as a political pawn and was robbed of a federal seat. Judge, Judge Kadish is an outstanding jurist that has never legislated from the bench and has always enforced the law as written. Judge Kadish will make an outstanding addition to the Nevada Supreme Court bench. Now here who we are against. We are not in support of Clark County District Court Judge Susan Johnson, and here's why. A judge has a judicial obligation to disclose any and all campaign contributions. Some of this was discussed during her interview yesterday in front of this body. But what wasn't discussed is what happens when judges take money from attorneys that have active open cases before their court. Judge Susan Johnson has about 73 open cases before her court and the, and the law firms on those cases have donated to her husband, Judge Eric Johnson. Donating to her husband is no different than donating to her. It all serves both of their purpose because their, their husband and wife live in a single household. Rule 2.11 of the Code of Judicial Conduct says that a judge shall disqualify themselves in any proceeding in which a judge impartiality might be in question. Rule 4.4 of the Code of Ethics says that accepting campaign contributions can serve as the basis for disqualification. So the question is where are the disclosures on the record and the waivers of all these cases that are currently before Judge Susan Johnson? Here's another reason why we're against this applicant. A judge has a moral, judicial, ethical obligation to turn anyone who has violated our laws. When her husband Eric came before this body for an appointment to the bench and his application question 39 page 12 said, have you ever been sanctioned, disciplined and reprimanded, found to have breached of ethics rules or have acted unprofessionally by any judiciary or bar association, discipline commission, other professional organization or administrative body or military tribunal? His answer was a no. According to a 2004 San Diego Union Tribune article, Johnson was working on a public corruption case in which the Stark government informant accused Johnson of taking favorites from a strip club that the informant owned. The Justice Department of Washington, D.C. took Johnson off the case and launched an investigation into the allegations. According to the, according to the article, Johnson's retaliated and attacked the informant's credibility. Johnson told okay, reporters Mr. Samson, that- I, I, Samson, I'm uh, sorry to uh, interrupt you, but uh, three minutes is up and uh, uh, we established the rules, so we're going to enforce them and uh, we uh, thank you very much for your comments. Justice Paraguay, could I give this to uh, to um, to your staff here to to send to Carson City because I have supporting documents of my claims. Yes, go ahead. And yes, thank you. You can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else?